our boat has arrived. We're gonna be on this reef rocket catamaran right here. It's gonna take us over to Green Island here in uh, Australia. And then from there, we're gonna jump on another uh, even bigger cat, something like that. Uh, we're gonna have a buffet lunch, then we're gonna go on a uh, glass bottom boat tour, then we're gonna go on a submersible, a semi-submersible submarine. Uh, basically another glass bottom boat and then we're going to um, walk around the island and do some other stuff it's gonna be awesome anyway that's ours right there the reef rocket all right we're getting on board the reef rocket let's get a, hold on there's gonna be a couple shots here first awesome all right so we're gonna get on board oh it's cold in here I'd rather sit outside and to see. Yeah, there's some seats out there. And nowhere to really see anything. Maybe on the back back. Go all the way to the back. At least I can turn around and look out the back. We can see some stuff out the back here anyway. If you're lucky, we'll get wet. Today we're leaving the port from Cairns, Australia. And we're heading out on this little catamaran. It's a pretty big catamaran. And we're heading out to an island called Green Island. We're going to jump on another catamaran. catamaran. And uh, from there we're going to have some lunch. We're going to get on a glass bottom boat. We're going to do, just do all kinds of crazy stuff. And we're going to finally get over on the island itself. And walk around a little bit. It's going to be a good trip. And uh, I'll film if I can on this one, but uh, I don't. I don't think I can. I got a plexiglass window. Well, you can see something there. But anyway, if not, we'll see you on the island. got off our reef rocket. It's quite windy out today, uh, but our rest of our tours are going to kind of be sheltered a little bit. Anyway, we're going to the big cat, which is going to stay tied up. We're going to grab a little uh, buffet lunch, and then we're going to go to one of these boats. There's a glass bottom, and one of these other boats over here somewhere is the submersible. Uh, Semi-submersible. We're not going to go completely underwater. But, uh, so let's go get some lunch. So it's a buffet. It's a bunch of people. Cool, everything's moving. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> get some food. Very small buffet, um, but there is some hot food and some cold food. So I just got some beef curry, bread, some pasta, uh, potato salad. Uh, they have drinking water out of a spigot. It looked pretty terrible, so I bought that for $4. It's a small water. Anyway, this is our view for a lunchtime view reef right there you can see the color change and we're gonna go get real close to that here in a few minutes okay we're on the boat now the last bottom you can actually see the bottom right there not very deep here let's hope some fishes come underneath Microscopic upside down jellyfish. Now, it does, that does two things in its world as well. 
as it grows, it splits in two. So the original one makes two coral polyps. Those two coral polyps make four coral polyps. And so on. And that keeps happening all the way through the whole life cycle. So each of these bits of coral we're looking at down there are hundreds, if not thousands, depending on the sort of coral it is, of types of the original coral polyp. Now, the next thing that those little coral polyps do is leave behind a calcium lime skeleton. And that is the structure and shape of the coral we see. Now, and that's the skeleton of that so that belly algae lives in. Now, hard corals. Now, they're basically the same thing. Just one is hard, which is the ones that don't move around. And one is soft, which is the ones that do sort of wave backwards and forwards in the current, like our spaghetti corals or our elephant ear corals. Now, you'll know when you see spaghetti coral, it looks like a big brown bowl of beige spaghetti. Um, and that's the next thing about our corals, is how they're named. So you know what you're looking at. Now, basically the common names are what the coral looks like. If it looks like a table or a plate, we passed over quite a few of those, it is plate coral, or table coral. If it looks like it is sadly for them, they taste good apparently. And people tend to harvest them. Now, giant clams live to 200 years old and grow to about two meters long. They don't, and they don't reach maturity to be able to spawn and breed until they are about 50 years old. Unfortunately, people harvest them too early. Here on the Great Barrier Reef, they're protected. So we have a very healthy, happy population of them. And very interesting things as well because Arthritis, the same as we get. The joint at the bottom of the two shells is very similar to our knee joint, and they get the same problems we do in life. Now, other pictures you might see, folks, as we cruise across the sand. Uh, now, on top of this little bubble there, folks, there is a couple of clams. Now, also look out for Nemo. Uh, Nemo, everyone knows what Nemo is, the anemone fish living in its little anemone. And Nemo plays everyone from the sea, Finding Nemo. It's a very good movie. In most parts, it's very accurate to what the reef is really like. There's only one mistake they made in Finding Nemo. And that is, in those little anemones, there's a oh, there's beautiful big giant clam down there around the middle of the boat, folks. Um, in the anemones, the largest fish in that anemone is always the female. And if that female dies, the next biggest male turns into a female. So if Nemo, finding Nemo was accurate, Marlin, Nemo's dad, would not have been Marlin. He would have actually turned into Marla. A little bit like Bruce Jenner. Now, some of these little fish down here we can see, little blue ones with yellow tails. They are yellow-tailed fusiliers, but they're juvenile ones. We'll see the adults later. They are the lollies of the ocean. Everything loves to eat them. There's some lovely boulder corals up here in the front there, folks. We've got some cauliflower coral down the back here. Uh, 
you guys have a bit of blue stag on colour on there. Now, about now, most people are wondering where all the bright colours are that you see in the postcards and on David Attenborough. I promise you they are there, we just can't see them. About 70 to 80% of coral is naturally brown in colour anyway. There is very colourful patches. I know some of you guys might have seen some blue. Um, that colour you will see. But what you won't see is any of the reds, pinks and oranges and stuff. Those colours are filtered out of the water, are filtered out of the light by the water. It's a process called refraction. And um, how they actually uh, overcome that for the documentaries and the postcards is they take down a large bright white light and shine it directly on the coral from just outside the camera lens. Sergeant Majors, uh, they're part of the damselfish family. Now, I might see something that looks very fast, almost like a tuna. Uh, that will be a tea leaf trevally. Now, they're hunters, you'll be able to tell by the shape of them that they are predators. See a big reddy browny looking fish down there with a big yellow eye? Um, they are called red bass. Now, they're very poisonous to people, they build up a toxin in their system. Uh, from like, eating the reef fish over their life. And what else we got might be down there? Maybe some surgeon fish. They are ones that swim with their side fins only. They'll have yellow side fins on them. They look very much like Dory from Finding Nemo. this side now, guys. So you guys get ready. Right, get ready right. I got a lot of them already. Right. Alright, pull it back into the big boat, and we're going to go over to that yellow one there, which is most of which is underwater. Semi submersible. Submarine. We can't hear you with this wind, but we're going down in our submersible. Pretty deep. Looks like it's pretty deep. Going straight down.
All right, we'll just come across the bridge from our submersible. It's all tons of fish, especially when they fed them. <laughs> they fed them a little bit, and like every fish in the ocean came over there. So this is Green Island. Uh, I'm not sure what's here. Food court. Some birds. Uh, let's see. We'll go check the map. Right. We're going to just wander around now. and um, A lot of people are bringing suitcases. I think there's a resort here. They're bringing suitcases. Uh, beach, beach Hire, National Park. Uh, yeah, right there. Well, I also think this is the way to a resort. But we're going to just walk and find out. Yeah, reception. So yeah, there's a hotel here. Well, thanks to that, we've had our island experience. <laughs> that was enough. It's probably much better here. Oops. Got a little overcast on me. Hard to hard to see things now. All right. Well, we're gonna walk down this path for a little while. If anything exciting happens, I'll bring you guys back. Well, I'm not sure what to make of all this, but uh, we stopped at the bathroom and sign about a cruise ship guests, canopy grills, bars. I don't really know what's going on here, and I certainly haven't seen any cruise ships, but they must come here. Because there was a sign. Anyway, crocodiles. So this looks like what most of these type places are. They're just gift shops, souvenir shops, food shops. So they just. Uh, but they did a very nice path. Look at the brick path. So we're just going to follow this path around for a little while. And then we have to turn around and go back. There is a way to walk all the way around. I guess on the beach itself. I don't think we have time for that. It'd probably be like a four hour walk. So we'll just wander down here. Oh, there's a crocodile park. We've seen quite a few crocodiles since we've gotten to Australia. Alligator and crocodile. So I don't think we're going to go in the park or to see them. I don't really need to see any more. There's a path to the beach down there. I don't want to get all sandy. And it's windy as heck today. It's like 20 kilometer winds. I don't know what that equates to, but that's what they said, 20 kilometers. Well, our path has ended, so I decided to come on down here in the sand. And this is coral, parts of the coral reef right here. It's so close, we might as well go look at it. Not the greatest beach. Yeah, just rocks or coral, I don't know. What do you think? Oh, it just feels like a rock, but... Alright, we're back on the boat. About a 20 minute wait here. And, um, 
people are slowly making their way back. And we're gonna take about, a, I don't know, can't remember how long the cruise is. 35, 40 minute cruise back. <laughs> well, that was the tour. Boat, to a boat, eat lunch, to a boat, the glass bottom boat, to another boat, with the even deeper glass bottom. Uh, around the woods a little bit, back on the big cataract, and 45 minutes later, we're back on the dock. And the tour is over, we're on our own, we have to catch an Uber whenever we're ready to go back. Not sure when that is. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video, so thanks for watching, we'll see you soon on the next one.